I'm Judy Shaw for NYSC Floor Talk. Joining me today is Jimmy Padia. He is CEO and founder of Floatbot.ai. And we also have CJ Shaw. He is Chief Sales Officer at AllSec Tech. Jimmy, CJ, wonderful to have you both here. Thanks for joining me today. It's our pleasure. Thanks for inviting us, Judy. My, my pleasure. Okay, now before we get started, just a quick note to our viewers. This interview is for informational purposes only. The NYSC doesn't recommend any investments or investment strategies. All right, so Jimmy, let's start with you. Um, congratulations are in order. You just launched Agent M. So tell me more about Agent M. Sure. Uh, let me give a, a little background about us. Um, we started Floatboard.ai in 2017, back from India. And then we moved our headquarters to US in the middle of 2020 in California. So we have one of the very few platforms that allows to build a self-service chatbot and a voice bot, and also an assist bot for request uh, contact center agents. Okay. So prior to GPT launch, you know, the big jet GPT launch in November, we all know about that. We were experimenting with GPT AI modules, you know, working out something hybrid between the traditional and the, the GPT prior versions of uh, chat GPT. But when GPT 3.5 was launched, we knew it's, it's kind of a revolutionary, uh, you know, movement for conversational AI technology. That's when we started working on an AI module or a framework basically that lets a business use ChatGPT or any similar large language model to build an application specific chatbot. Uh, so that's, that's, that's when we started working on AgentM. We are happy to announce our formal launch of AgentM today at, one, at NYSC Floor Talk. Um, and so, so AgentM basically it's a framework, it's a large language model based master agent uh, that lets a business build multiple sub agents and each of those train them on specific skills so imagine in a contact center environment where you have set of agents that are trained on customer support, another set of agents that are trained on sales. So you can replicate that with agent M where you can build several sub agents. Each of these are specialized in specific skills, specific business skills that solves a specific problem. And agent M is on the top that orchestrates amongst all of them. So when a customer query comes in and on chat or voice, Agent M is able to orchestrate that to one of the right agent, invoke one of the skills, and give a very contextual answer, basically. So talk to me more about some of the business applications of Agent M. Yeah, that's, that's a great one. So we have been working a lot on insurance, uh, in banking. We have been working in financial services. We have been working in healthcare. And lately, there has been traction coming in from QSR, food delivery, and travel. Uh, so I'd like to highlight one specific use case in insurance. Uh, you know, that, we, that, that's, that has very high impact. Uh, so that's what we have been working with several insurance carriers uh, right now. Uh, so imagine uh, during a bad weather incident, you know, a, a catastrophe or a hurricane hits a city, right? There's, there's a lot of damage that happens. People, the first thing they do is start calling their insurance companies. They want to have questions, there are a lot of questions around their policy, what is covered, they want to file claim for the damages that they had. And that's when the lines get choked. You know, the customer support lines get choked. Insurance companies and TPA, they try to kind of uh, tackle the situation by hiring temporary employees, but it just doesn't work. You know, they, they end up giving wrong information. They end up collecting long, wrong information. That just delays the entire claims process. So we have been successfully launching chatbot, voicebot for this use case. You know, we call it claims, filing claims first notice of loss, where customers can call in. The bot will help them answer all their queries, whether it's on text, on call, or on chat, and, uh, and and bot will be able to file the claim end to end, ensuring that 100% information that's captured is correct, and and you know it goes to the claims processing as fast as possible, as accurately as possible. All right, so CJ, yes. tell us a little bit about Allsec, your role, and how you've used Agent M. So I'll try and break it down into two questions. In fact, Allsec and what my role is, and then no, I'll give you understanding with the use case, correct? So Allsec is a mid-market BPO firm. We are financially backed by Fairfax Holding. Fairfax is a conglomerate in Canada, and the founder name is Prem Vatsa. He's considered to be Warren Buffett of Canada. And Allsec, uh, if you look at the go-to market, it has been carved in three areas, customer experience engineering, back office F&A services, finance and accounting, and then we have industry solution. Uh, as far as my role is concerned, no, I am uh, working as a, a prayer coach. So when I look at you know, how the strategy can be built to meet the revenue goals and uh, growth uh, objectives, 
I also am working on some of the things which are very interesting where you know, fostering culture to build the growth pipeline for the, for the company. So that's I think is the one which is where my work is. Now as far as the use case is concerned, you know, we have a very interesting use case with our healthcare client. So this client is a top notch healthcare provider and the engagement that we had was to make sure that we are offering off, uh, uh, what you call aftercare solutions. And uh, the way it was working is that you know, there are a group of nurses, those who were working on behalf of our client, and the focus of those nurses is to provide responses to queries of patients when they are discharged. Now the queries are of various different nature, if you look at some of the queries are related to medication, some of the queries are related to uh, you know, medical specific medical situations, post-discharge solutions and things like that. And they were doing a fantastic job. Uh, what we wanted to do is step up and say, hey, let us give them additional value. And that's where we partner with Floatbot. Floatbot was able to bring this solution to bear, which is AI Assist, which was very, very interesting solution. The nifty uh, little solution was able to guide our nurses uh, on a real-time basis uh, where they were offering aftercare solution tailored for patients. So I think that's one very interesting. And the way it was working is agent SS, as what uh, Jimmy was mentioning, is powered by generative AI. So it was going deep into patient history, medical records, making sure that they are able to create those inferences and have that intelligence. So the nurses are able to have contextual response for each patient. The impact was enormous. I mean, if we look at the way the aftercare solution cycle was reduced to almost half. More than that, I would say the patient satisfaction, patient experience had gone up drastically. One most important I would like to highlight here is that I feel uh, I may not be wrong in saying that the patient recovery process was, was also impacted because of the way we were approaching. This is a classic example where you, know, you have nurses having their expertise powered by uh, cutting edge AI solution and how is that you can do wonders. Uh, we are so proud of you know, the way we have worked on this solution Thanks. and delivered the impacted uh, results. Mm -hmm. Now, Jimmy, similar to Allsec, how can a business launch Agent M are there any data privacy concerns? Yeah, good question around data privacy. I mean, a lot of businesses today, they think about, you know, how is my data secured mm -hmm. when, you know, they are dealing with chat GPT or similar large language models, right? So although we are launching Agent M today, but, you know, we already signed few contracts, you know, Allsec being one of them. We have signed few contracts with large banks, uh, large insurance carriers. Uh, so, you know, Agent M actually is a framework that, that you know, helps business to customize chat gpt build guardrails around uh, chat gpt imagine it's it's like it's it's like an environment which which lets business apply chat gpt or any similar large language model that could be google palm or or any other large language model right build guardrails around it be trained on specific data specific processes and specific set of apis you know that that can interact back and forth with application so basically we are enabling business to to launch agent M with a no code interface we have a very powerful GUI with which they can uh, launch. They can they can build agent They can they can build specific agents under agent M and train each of these agents with specific skills. And they can deploy this across 15 plus customer touch points. This could be on text. This could be on chat. This could be on voice. This could also be assisting agents real time, uh, basically to enable them answer better. So so in nutshell, yeah, we. And, and talking about the data privacy, Agent M also takes care of scrubbing PII. I mean, because at the heart, it's still an LLM. It could be ChatGPT or anything else. Uh, whenever a user query comes, it scrubs out the PII, or if it pulls data from database, right? Or ERP or CRM. If there's specific data, let's say around the name, address, or credit card, last four digits, or even balance information, right? It scrubs off before it sends to ChatGPT or any similar LLM. And when the response comes back, it replaces those with the actual data and gives it back to the customer. All right, so CJ, um, being a thought leader in contact center transformation space, how do you see Agent M impacting the operations? 
So some of the success stories that Jimmy mentioned is definitely the one alluding the fact that it is doing wonders. But I can also see capabilities and potential for Agent M to revolutionize contact center and back office operation. Some of the unique features like you no know, Agent M, think of a situation can tackle all repetitive tasks. What can happen? Human agent can focus on complex and more high value activities. That can enable to make sure that the experience of the individuals those are working with them is going up. If you look at the other features like you no, know, the uh, you have the analytic and analytics and reporting capability, correct? So now that's a giving crystal ball to the managers because when you have all the data sets which are collected by Agent M and they are able to analyze, inference, and then give kind of capability to uh, managers for making a faster decision. I think that I think is enormous uh, value which Agent M offers. Agent M also, I would say, has capability to seamlessly integrate all the systems. They are able to get all the data sets from different, different systems and different, different locations. I think, the, the, see, what we have seen is that there is always an impact which is what customer is looking at, which is from the standpoint of promise management. You are extremely good when you talk to a person and you have a fantastic soft skills. But if all of you are not able to honor your commitment, then that customer would not like it. And to honor the commitment, it is very important that agent has a composite view. And that composite view is pro provided by agent M. So I think that's one which is, and the agent M, I would say the last one, which is in terms of the fast learning capability Agent M has. It has a fantastic machine learning. It has a great capability to make sure that they are able to adapt. And all those language nuances or any of those new trends, they are able to pick that fast. And that is one reason that Agent M can be so relevant. It can always stay ahead of the curve and make sure that client gets the best value out of it. All right, and finally, Jimmy, tell me, what's next for Float? Uh, so we've been extremely swamped right now lately. So, I mean, uh, our future is actually going to be three folds. First, uh, you know, obviously Agent M is quite agnostic. It, I mean, it can work on top of any large language model. It could, it could be ChatGPT, it could be Google Palm. So we are building industry specific use cases or templates. You know, let that be healthcare, let that be insurance, let that be banking, uh, basically. So, so we have already started getting a lot of traction on that. Uh, second is, uh, you know, we are also getting traction from from Asian market. You know, we have been we have been present in that market. I mean, largely we are in in, in Asia, a little bit Middle East and North America, where uh, obviously they they want large language model or agent time to be deployed in local languages. Obviously, ChatGPT does decent job, uh, but it's still pricey for those market. So we have been getting traction to get into building some of the large language models as well for those uh, those region basically. And third, uh, obviously, we are we are actually in process of opening up our platform, kind of going product-led growth PLG. That's what we call it, where it would be 95 to 99 percent self-serve for our customers to come sign up, build Agent M or any other AI models around Agent M, can quickly deploy uh, across 15 plus touch points. So, so kind of that that allows us to scale with thousands of customers quickly. All right, well, Jimmy, CJ, wonderful to talk with you both. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Judy. Thank you.